pick one of you guys to treat to Starbucks. If I eat this, I will probably die, so. Learn how to make it on the stove top. We could use that a lot. <laughs> another vlog if you're new here my name is Leslie Ann I feel like I have a lot of new faces on here so hello thank you for sticking around I wanted to go ahead and start another vlog it is Monday February 27th almost the end of February almost March I can't believe it I feel like the past two months have flown by um but I've just been so busy the past couple months too I just I don't know I feel like I'm always busy though so what's new <laughs> as you saw I just got our HelloFresh box for the week and i figured i would show you guys the recipes this week we've got cheddar stuffed meatloaves which looks so yummy it's got a side of carrots and potatoes and then we have a ginger chicken rice bowl so it's like a little asian style chicken rice bowl looks yum and then we have a saucy pork burrito bowl this looks amazing yummy and then this so if you do hellofresh you know that like you get to pick your month your um, meals every week so you can get i think up to like five meals a week we do four meals and um you get to pick them from like 36 meals i think is like your options every week they rotate they're different every week anyway um but if you don't make your selection and just pick them for you <laughs> well my week last week was so dang busy that i forgot to pick our meals for the week and anyway yeah so we ended up with garlic butter shrimp scampi which if you know me you'll think this is hilarious because i am allergic to shrimp <laughs> and we got it in our hellofresh box this month or this week because i completely forgot to select our meals all the other meals they picked for us look so yummy so good but if i eat this i will probably die so i am like so mad at myself that i forgot to pick our meals for the week but what are you gonna do mistakes happen anyway maybe zach will eat it or honestly i might like give it to my parents or something and see if they want it because they love shrimp anyway yeah but i got that box got the mail and i'm gonna show you guys this package i've been waiting for for so long and this company is called our spare change it's actually um so one of the guys that zach played football with at wingate um he's actually the quarterback my freshman year he was a senior um, his name's Kyle Johnson and his family is like super well known. Um, his white or his, one of his brothers actually, there's a girl that was on The Bachelor and is now married to his brother, Tyler Johnson. Anyway, his name's Kyle Johnson. Him and Zach were really, really close in college. His wife and her sister started this um, jewelry brand where they make jewelry out of spare change. So that's why it's called our spare change long story but i have several pieces from her if you've been following me for a long time you actually would probably remember um the bracelets that i gave to all my bridesmaids and they were just like little cuff bracelets i have one myself it's got roman numerals of zach and i's wedding date on it and i gave it to all my bridesmaids part of like their gift to like to ask them to be a bridesmaid in my wedding each of them got a different word on their little gold cuff just a word that i felt like encapsulated them as a person and um something i feel like they could wear obviously like after the wedding and i had them wear it on the wedding day and yeah so i got those bracelets from this company and all being said i was just trying to give you guys some background and relevance of this piece that i ordered so i saw this that they came out with this ring i just knew i needed it because of the design of it so i'll show you so this ring is almost identical to um zach's wedding band and his wedding band is almost identical to my dad's wedding band we actually got it from the same jeweler I love this and i just love how all their pieces are unique you know anyway let me see if i can give you guys a close-up of the ring okay so this is the ring hopefully you can see it how it's got like the 
ribbed edges um and that's exactly what zach's wedding band ring looks like so i thought how cool would it be to wear it as a little thumb ring okay yeah if it's got my thumb and i just thought it'd be a fun little thumb ring and it has like i said so much semblance to me because it's almost the exact same ring that my dad has for his wedding band and then my husband has for his wedding band like how cool is that i don't know i just really really love it i will leave their website link down below if you guys ever want to get your hands on some new unique jewelry pieces i love all their jewelry it's always really great quality it doesn't tarnish and i just love gold rings also please ignore my nails i'm trying to let these like grow out i need to just go to the nail salon and get them taken off but they are what they are right now i also got an amazon package that i ordered and it's these new glass straws because we just needed more glass straws i feel like ours were just getting old and kind of like gross so um i got these with little flowers on them for spring and summertime and i'm obsessed with them i love drinking my coffee out of glass straws so i love these like, look how cute they are so many different colors like i love these i will leave them linked um for you guys on my amazon storefront so you can get some they were super inexpensive and they have other ones that aren't just flowers so super cute okay, about to head out for my workout class i literally think a game changer for actually making it to your workouts whenever you work at home to so go ahead and have on your workout set for the day so i've literally just been wearing this workout set all day and now i'm going to the gym and i like don't it's like i don't know it's just like one step closer to getting there so you don't have an excuse of like oh like i have to put on my workout outfit and whatever so anyway i've just been wearing this all day it's one of my favorite sets that i have it is from amazon believe it or not it's from the um what is the brand crazy yoga or crz yoga i think is the like how you say it but um it's basically like a lululemon do and yeah i really really like it it's in like a brown color clearly i love brown and this jacket is my all-time favorite i talk about it all the time it's from cuts and i think a few of you have purchased it and you really love it which makes me so happy i love all of cuts products you know and i have this jacket in two colors i have it in black and beige and I just really like it and yeah, it's super cute. So anyway, that is the workout outfit. I am going to head out here in just a second and hopefully I don't run into any traffic. Supposedly the traffic has been really bad today. I've only been out like once. It was kind of bad when I was out earlier. It's also supposed to storm, which makes me sad. And I hope it doesn't because I'm supposed to be having friends come over tonight. It's Monday, so The Bachelor comes on and we always watch The Bachelor at my house on Mondays. Um, so we're doing that too, but anyway, I'm gonna head out to my workout. You got that pullover. Eight turns away, you slide back on the bench. That's halfway, about 15 treadmills. Those come back and see that same thing. Otherwise, I had a busy morning with work. As you saw, I got some laundry done, breakfast, all of that. I've been outside for a little bit, just getting some content done for social media work. And yeah, I just haven't even picked up the camera today to talk to you guys. So hello. Um, I am about to grab my laptop though to hop back on work because I'm pretty much on my lunch break now. And I'm going to go outside and enjoy the sunshine because it is really nice out today. And I just want to be in the sun. You guys know I'm I love being in the sun. It just makes me feel so good. So yeah, that is what is going on. Also, I've been wearing these headbands a ton lately. I will leave them linked, or at least some like super similar. I got mine from Target, but I know Amazon has a bunch, so I'll leave them on my Amazon storefront. Um, I think it's so fun that these are trending again. I used to wear these. I need to find a photo. I have a photo of me wearing this, like wearing a headband like this when I was little, 
and I used to wear them like this all the time when I was little and I just think it's so fun that they're back I think they're so cute and it's just like a fun like something fun to do to your hair because I feel like my hair gets so boring I'm always just like wearing it down and normal and it's just like ugh, like not very fun anyway yeah I'm gonna finish all my work this afternoon outside I think I'm gonna make a smoothie too just because I'm getting kind of hungry since breakfast and I think a smoothie would be really good because it's like warm out but the only thing that sucks about it getting warmer now is that the pollen I don't know if where you guys are from like you have to deal with pollen but it is so bad in South Carolina like pollen I it's just so bad and I'm just waiting to get like all like stuffy and congested from it because it's just like it just lingers in the air. It's like a cloud of pollen and it's really aggravating. Normally it hangs around for like a couple of weeks. Um, so that's not fun, but hopefully it'll die down and it won't be anything crazy. Okay, but y'all look how cute my smoothie is with my little flower straw. I'm obsessed with it. All right, I'm back inside. Alexa, pause. And I'm hungry. So I wanna try and make this popcorn. It's just the Orville original. Is that how you say that? Orville? Or, I don't know. but. It's just the original popcorn kernels. And I've been wanting to make homemade popcorn for so long because I have heard so many bad things about popcorn out of like a bag. Um, also, obviously I threw the sweatshirt back on because I'm back inside and it's cold and it was like really hot outside. Now I'm inside cold. Anyway, but I've been wanting to learn how to make it on the stove top. So I thought we could try and figure it out together. I just watched a couple YouTube videos of how to do it and I... I think it looks pretty easy. I think the key is to just not burn the popcorn, <laughs> which I don't know. And I am gonna use olive oil because I use olive oil for everything, but everyone kind of can pick what they want. And I think they said just like, they said to just do enough to coat the bottom. Just gonna pour these kernels in, I think. This could turn out so bad if I burn it, but I really, I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing. I don't know. Okay, I feel like that's enough. That's what it looks like. So we're going to let that get hot. I'm gonna cover it with this and we're gonna watch it. They said to like, you literally have to watch it and listen for it to slow down, just like you do in the microwave to know when your popcorn's ready, so. Okay, she's all done. I just put a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. Because I feel like the olive oil obviously is like gonna coat it, but let's do a taste test. That is freaking good. It tastes like movie theater popcorn, which is like what everyone wants, you know what I mean? I feel like I could stand up a little bit more butter on it. But other than that, like that is so freaking good. If you've never made stove pop top popcorn, this is your sign. <laughs> I know, I know, I was thinking about that. Rude group. There you go. <laughs> ah! In former hours of March. We have, I need to touch base with my team on that, but it'll be definitely. Good afternoon, thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Maury, what can I get started with you today? Hi, um, can I just do a grande pistachio cream cold brew? And then, can I also just get a pup cup, please? 
<laughs> Thank you. I know. Thank you so much. There you are. Have a good one. You too. Okay. Oh, please don't get it all over my car. I just cleaned it. All right, y'all. I just went and got a pistachio cream cold brew. Obviously, it just needed to get out of the house for the day. Um, I try to do this a lot when I work from home just like to get out. And it's so gloomy and gross out that I didn't want to really leave the house. But... I needed to because I was like I haven't been out of the house like I barely left the house at all yesterday I stopped vlogging randomly yesterday I honestly forgot I was vlogging but I um, went to over to my grandpa's house with my family and we had his neighbors um, come over they brought us dinner and it was just really really nice um, so anyway and I just want to thank so many of you guys for reaching out to me and commenting and messaging me it was so so sweet um of you to be thinking of me and my family during this time um so yeah i really appreciate that and then i also wanted to say thank you to everyone that reached out after i posted a video on instagram yesterday if you don't follow me on instagram already go follow me my username and everything's always um down below but i posted a video about my ms and i posted it because oh bentley you need to stick your head back in buddy it's raining um I posted it because it's March, which is MS Awareness Month, and um, yeah, it's just super important to me to continue to bring awareness to MS because so many people don't know what it is or have questions about it or whatever. So anyway, I just posted a little video on my Instagram yesterday, and so many of you guys messaged me and just sent so many sweet things, commented so many sweet things, and I just want to tell you all thank you so much for your sweet words because they mean so much to me. And I know that my situation is like great in comparison to what I could be dealing with, so I try to remind myself of that every day too, um, that it could always be worse. Um, but MS is a progressive disease, it's a chronic illness, it is a struggle, and it's been a lot for me to come to terms with mentally. Um, and emotionally and physically and literally every aspect so it was nice to put that little video together yesterday just to remind anyone that's dealing with something whether it's MS or chronic illness that um, there's so much more like we have so much life to live um, and I don't know it was just a sweet little video I'm glad I put it together for my sake and because I felt like it really impacted some people just based on the messages I got so anyway that is all. I'm going to go back home and finish out the work day. Actually, I'm on my lunch break right now. I'm probably going to fold clothes when I get home because I need to just get some laundry done. And then Zach and I are going to make dinner tonight and just hang out. We've been watching Outer Banks, which I don't know if you guys have been watching Outer Banks at all. But I'm honestly really disappointed in the season. I was literally texting Bianca about it yesterday. And I was just saying, like, I feel like there are no good shows out right now. There's no like even like watching the bachelor i look forward to it every monday honestly just because i get to hang out with my friends not even like the sh the season itself like this season has sucked zach sucks as a bachelor not my husband zach the bachelor zach sucks like there's just like no good substance to shows anymore so it's kind of disappointing but yeah outer banks has been kind of mm, not I'm, i have not been a big fan of it but we're continuing to watch it hoping it'll get better but anyway that is all love you guys Hey you guys, what do you know? I'm back in the car. It's the next day. I honestly had such a busy day with work yesterday and I just did not feel good at all. I felt like really fatigued yesterday. I think it's because I'm um, due for my next infusion next week. So sometimes I can feel like that kind of like a couple days leading up to it. Um, so I'm blaming it on that. But I just didn't feel like pulling out the camera and honestly I did literally nothing yesterday other than work and Zach and I went and got Sonic last night for dinner because I made the mistake of letting HelloFresh I think I talked about this I made the mistake of letting HelloFresh pick our meals instead of me picking our meals and dinner was like disgusting last night so we were still like starving after and <laughs> so we went to Sonic anyway besides the point today is a new day it's Friday um busy day again with work this week's just been really busy with work i feel like i haven't had as much flexibility in my schedule as i normally do but i'm on my break right now and i'm actually heading to this little cute store um i think it's like a little boutique like a gift boutique in columbia it's off divine street it's called sugar and lola i do the permanent bracelets which i already have one i vlogged when i got this one um, with bianca up in charlotte i'm getting another one today 
with my aunt, my cousin, and my sister, and my mom for my grandpa. And I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be really sweet to have something permanent for him. I really thought about getting a tattoo the weekend, like last weekend when he passed because I was super close to my um, cousin's tattoo shop. I was in Charleston on Saturday and I was like very impulsively wanting to get one for him uh, because I don't think I've ever shared this, but my grandpa, his name was Wesley, so I was named after him. We were super close, obviously, and I'm just like really close to my family in general. Like, family is so important to me. Um, so I was thinking about getting like a little W initial somewhere just to represent him. His And his last name is Waldrip, so like, and that's my mom's like maiden name, and that's like kind of like that's my side of the family, so it would represent that too. So it would have a lot of meaning. I might get that at some point, <laughs> but. Um, the bracelet, the permanent bracelet, I think is such a cool alternative if you are like iffy about getting a tattoo, like something actually on your body, but you still want something like permanent. Um, I feel like a permanent bracelet is such a good alternative. And yeah, so we're going to get those today. I'll try and film a few clips while we're there. And then I'm probably going to pop into a coffee shop. I brought my work bag with me um, so that I could possibly go pop into a coffee shop and finish out my work day. Columbia. I actually also have to run to Target and meet dinner, meet dinner, oh my god, meet Zach after work for dinner and then we're gonna go see Creed 3 which I'm so excited because it's coming out tonight and I love the Creed movies. If you've never seen them you need to see them. Like I love them, they're great and Michael B. Jordan is just beautiful and that just makes the movie two times better so <laughs> you need to go see Creed though if you've never seen it. The movies are really good. Okay, hey y'all, this is the bracelet I picked out. I think it's so cute. I think it goes really well with like all my other bracelets on my wrist and I really like it. And I'm just so glad that we got to do this as a family for my grandpa and just have it in memory of him. It is actually much later. I went to Starbucks and finished out my work day. I was gonna go to a little coffee shop downtown Columbia, but I knew it would take me forever to get back over to our side of town if I worked over there because I wouldn't have left until like 5 and then I'd be stuck in 5 o'clock traffic. So I just hot footed it back over to our side of town, worked at Starbucks, and now I'm at Target. I need to get a few things. We're having family over on Sunday, so I'm going to get another either another crock pot just because we need another one, like a bigger one, because um, I feel like we have people over a lot and I make things in the crock pot crock pot a lot and the one we have is just kind of tiny so I'm either gonna get that or like a big pot because we don't have like a really big pot I can't remember what exactly the type of pot is called but you know what I mean like one of those big deep like soup pots um because I feel like we could use that a lot and then I also need to get a birthday gift for my best friend's um baby well you guys know um, Bianca you either probably watch her or she's been in my vlogs before and she has a almost one-year-old Sutton her birthday is Saturday which is crazy I can't believe it's already been a year since she had her um, time just seriously flies uh, so I gotta get her a little birthday gift I've been meaning to do it all week and I have let it get away from me so we're gonna get that while we're in there and then Zach and I are gonna get dinner I think we're gonna go somewhere super casual like Kava um, cause it's right across the street and then we're gonna go to see Creed 3, which I'm so excited. I mentioned it earlier, I already talked about it. But, yeah, I'm excited to see that and go on a little movie date. I love going to the movies, we love going on little casual fun dates like this, so I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. Also, please ignore that noise in the background, it's our washer. It just always sounds like that. I don't know why, but um, it's not our washer. It's the place that we're renting. But anyway, I am getting ready. We are going, it's Saturday. I figured I would continue the vlog into Saturday because we are going up to Charlotte today for um, Sutton's birthday. I talked about it yesterday. So I just figured it'd be fun to take you guys along. Just make a coffee. I've been really into hot coffees lately. So yeah, we're just doing our makeup. I already used the um, Glow Recipe Watermelon dew drops and then I'm gonna go in with this Ilias skin tint. I've been loving this lately. It is so dang good. Um, I feel like it gives you enough coverage but you don't feel like you're wearing like a really heavy foundation you know. 
And in case you're wondering, I'm in the shade ST8. I think that's the shade number. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's going to be really great for summer too because it has SPF in it. I just want to share that. I'll have it linked down below. I feel like everyone's been on the skin tint train lately. So if you haven't hopped on it, you need to because it's amazing. Like, it just makes your skin look so flawless. Like you said, without feeling too heavy and cakey from foundation. So I really like it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to finish getting ready. And then I will probably see you guys whenever we're in Charlotte. <laughs> pistachio cream cold brew the bacon egg bites please you said bacon egg bites yes okay <laughs> happy sunday you guys well it won't be sunday probably when you're watching this but it's sunday for me it's sunday morning i actually obviously just ordered starbucks i got a pistachio cream cold brew they honestly put so much cold foam on it this time which i love um and i just wanted to hop on and end off the vlog we are actually about to go to church here in a second, I'm about to go run back to the house so Zach can hop on the car and we can go. But I just happened to get ready early enough this morning to go grab Starbucks first. And we have a Starbucks like five minutes from our house, so it's perfect. Anyway, yeah, um, yesterday was so fun. So much fun celebrating Sutton and getting to see Colin and Bianca. Obviously, they've moved to Georgia, so we haven't seen them in a while. So it was so fun to see them. Yeah, it was just a really good day. If you want to see like the full vlog of Sutton's birthday, I'm sure Bianca will be posting it soon after this video goes up on my channel or it might already be posted on her channel so i'll leave her channel down below but anyway i am going to end off the vlog i hope you enjoyed this week of my life i know it was a little bit all over the place but either way i still hope that you guys enjoyed it if you like week of my lifestyle videos let me know um or if you like more days in my life like random days or if you like just one solid day in my life let me know i feel like i have a ton of you guys watching my videos like hundreds sometimes thousands of you watching and i get like maybe four or five comments on a video and i'm like hello where are you people at like i want to know you guys and when you guys comment like i feel like you all like to message me on instagram more than commenting on my videos which i totally get but if you've made it to the end comment on this video like something you're excited for for the upcoming week or maybe like a little like literally anything drop an emoji just say hey something i just want to know who you guys are that are watching and i will pick one of you guys to treat to starbucks this week if you comment if you made it this far so anyway that is all for this video i hope you all enjoyed it i love you all so much and i will see you in my next one